Hey guys, what up? It is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and I'm tired. It's raining. The weather is just not nice. It's just not, I'm just like, meh. The sun hasn't come out today, and it's like 2 p.m. <gasps> what I wanna do is sleep all day. <sighs> but what I am going to do is make meatloaf and mashed potatoes, because if there's any day that's meant for meatloaf and mashed potatoes, it is this rainy, rainy day. So, I have a pound of Beyond Ground beef in the freezer. I took it out and I put it on my oven to thaw. And I was like, hmm, I was supposed to shoot outside today for Vlogmas. Why don't I just shoot my meatloaf and mashed potatoes? Because guess what? Vlogmas must go on. The show must go on no matter what. So let's just make meatloaf together and mashed potatoes and some sort of side of veggies that I haven't decided yet. I found a recipe for meatloaf online that was basically what I remember meatloaf being before I went vegan. It's just like onion and breadcrumbs and ketchup and stuff. The recipe also says to put brown sugar in it, but like, ew, so I'm not gonna do that. I do, although, have to go to the supermarket to get the ingredients or some of the ingredients for the meatloaf. So I guess first stop is the supermarket and then we're gonna get back here and we're gonna veganize the recipe that I found online. So let's do that. I just had a look at the ingredient list and all I'm actually missing is onions and breadcrumbs and potatoes. I need potatoes for the mashed potatoes, obviously. Now I'm braving the cold and the rain for only like three ingredients. I am gonna go and buy onions, breadcrumbs and potatoes and I will be right back. Ayo! All right, so I'm back. This is what I bought. I bought two packages of mushrooms that were going bad, so they're on sale. I also got these panko breadcrumbs, which were the only breadcrumbs that didn't have milk in it, which is really annoying because even the plain breadcrumbs had milk in it, so what the heck. I got an onion. And I got 12 little potatoes. Like, this is the biggest potato they had, so I had to get a ton of them. Let's just get this meatloaf started. Okay, so first up, I'm going to wash, peel, and chop these potatoes and put it in a pot of boiling water. Washed, peeled, chopped, and put in boiling water and boil till soft. Okay, now this is the worst part. I have to peel and dice this onion super, 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 super tiny, uh, so I'm going to cry. Can we like GMO some non-tearing onions already? Like, we GMO everything else. This would be like the most useful GMO ever. All right, I'm gonna be mixing up the meatloaf in this bowl and meatloaf usually has egg, but instead of egg, I'm gonna be using some flax. So I'm gonna make two flax eggs. And the way you make flax eggs is you put a tablespoon of flax with two tablespoons of water and you let it sit. So I'm going to double that and let it sit while I do the rest of the meatloaf. I'm using a scale because my tablespoon is dirty right now and two tablespoons of flax is 13 grams. Mix that with about a quarter cup of water. And now we let this sit to become kind of like jelly. All right, back to the meatloaf. Unfortunately, my ground meat is still a little frozen. I'm gonna be using this Beyond Meat Ground that I got, um, I actually got a coupon for it, so it was free. That's why it was in my freezer, ready to be made into something. And meatloaf is the something that I decided on. So there's 16 ounces in here, which means it's one pound. That's the meat. Ooh, that Beyond Meat smell. Now, normally you would mix this with your hands, but I don't want my hands to smell like Beyond Meat all day. So I'm gonna try to like break this up with a fork. Yeah, still a little frozen in the middle. All right, so hopefully that kind of thaws as we work with it. I'm gonna do a cup of breadcrumbs. Boom. I also remember my sister's nanny putting ketchup inside the meatloaf. I think I'm gonna do that. My family's Arab, so we didn't grow up making meatloaf. However, I grew up eating meatloaf because my sister has special needs and she has a round-the-clock nanny, and that nanny was white, so she made meatloaf all the time. And she definitely put ketchup inside her meatloaf, so that's what I'm gonna do. If this turns out yummy at the end of the day, I'll put all the uh, measurements in the description box down below. Eh, just got ketchup on the floor. Let the ketchup hit the floor. Let's add that flax egg. Mmm, yum. I think I'm gonna 
gonna also add some like thyme or something. I just feel like that would taste good in there. All right, let's see if this is wet enough or I need to add some more moistness. I don't know if I need to add salt because I think the Beyond Meat comes with some salt and the ketchup has salt, so I'm gonna not salt it. And I'll let you know later if that was a bad idea or not. I hope this holds together. All right, I guess I just put this in a pan now. All right, so I have a pan. Yes, it's from Target, if you can't tell. And I'm gonna put my meatloaf in it. My loaf of meat. Ooh, not gonna lie, this looks real nasty. Oh, dang it, I should have been heating my oven this whole time. 350 sounds right, so we're preheating our oven to 350. While we continue to mash the meat into the loaf, it is smaller than I imagined it would be. My sister's nanny used to also spread a thin layer of ketchup on top. Not quite sure if that's a thing or whatever, but I'm gonna do that too, cause you know, it's what I grew up eating. And spread it with this spatula. She didn't do that. That's all me, baby. All me. All right, all right, all right. Now I'm not quite sure how long to cook beyond meat, meatloaf. Oh, I just got ketchup on my hoodie. I'm just gonna stick this in for like an hour and I'll get back to you with it. Here are the mashed potatoes. Well, I mean, they're gonna be mashed potatoes soon. They're just regular taters now. I wish I had a masher, but I don't, so we're doing this with a fork. I'm going to add in some butter, some almond milk, and some salt and pepper, and that's it. I'm gonna be using Earth Balance Original, four tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna do the same amount of almond milk to start out with. Just a tip, when you're making mashed potatoes with plant-based milks, don't use soy milk because it tastes a little sweet, and make sure that your almond milk is unsweetened. And now we just mash it up. Oh wait, let's add some salt and pepper first. A little bit, actually a lot of salt, and some peppity pep, pep, pep. <laughs> pepper ne never made me sneeze before. Okay, here are the finished potatoes, nice and airy and whipped. I actually ended up adding a little more salt and a little more almond milk, but that is done. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm not in the mood to make my veggies right now, and I have to hit the gym soon, so I'm going to wait for this meatloaf to finish cooking, uh, call these potatoes done, and then after the gym, I'm going to make my veggies, and then we'll do a taste test, and then we'll see what Roberto thinks. Hopefully he likes it. The alarm has rung, the meatloaf is done. Oops, ow. Ta-da! Vegan meatloaf. I'm actually gonna go to the gym now, so this is gonna have a little bit of time to cool, and then when I come back, I'm gonna cook up the veggies and do a whole taste test. All right, peeps, I am dressed. I'm heading to the gym. I'm wearing a new sports bra, so I'm feeling cool. And I recently hit a PR last week of 80 pound walking lunges. So I'm like really excited to go back and do 80 pound walking lunges again. I will see you in like an hour or so, and then we'll finish up this meal. Hey, I'm back from the gym, um, but a little side note. I get very nervous putting like my up close, poorly lit, pimply face on camera because I know people are gonna comment things like, you know, if you ate healthier, you wouldn't have these pimples. Like if you eat more plant-based. Or they'd be like, you see those bags under her eyes? That's cause she's vegan. And I'm just super self-conscious about it because YouTube is full of nice, amazing, wonderful people. And I know that and I love you guys so much. But YouTube is also full of mean people and I just have to get over it. Like, people are gonna comment whatever, no matter how I put my face on camera. So, here's my face after the gym. I haven't showered yet, because I want to cook up the veggies first and then hop in the shower. So, we're gonna make some veggies. I'm gonna make some mushrooms. I have two packs. And then I'm gonna make some frozen broccoli. I'm just gonna pop it into the air fryer like as a frozen block and just see what happens. Cause I wanna make it like the laziest way possible so I can finally eat dinner. Here's the frozen broccoli. I like buying frozen broccoli because you can use it to sneak veggies into meals like last minute. And I also use it to sneak veggies into my boyfriend's food because he doesn't eat a lot of veggies otherwise. But if I make him like pasta for example, I'll just like stick a bunch of broccoli in it and boom, now he's eating veggies. So this is the frozen broccoli. And now I'm gonna just put it into the air fryer for like, let's put it in there for like six minutes and see what it looks like. Cause I have no idea what it's gonna do to this like frozen block of vegetable. 
Okay, so I started it at five minutes, and we'll see what happens with that. Uh, when it comes to the mushrooms, we're just gonna take these and wash them up and slice them up and fry them up. Washed up, chopped up, fry them up. Thanks for washing dishes. Huh? Thanks for washing dishes. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, so here's the final product. I ended up cooking the broccoli in the air fryer for 10 minutes, and this is my plate. I'm gonna try it and then get back to you on what I think and I'm gonna have Roberto try it as well and review it on camera. Try everything, but I want you, I, I really care about the meatloaf because that's what uh, I tried to make. I tried to mash potatoes first. Oh, it tastes like mashed potatoes. Yo, that tastes like mashed potatoes. No, that's really? actually good though. Oh, thanks. Mushroom and broccoli? It's just veggies, it's not anything special. It just has salt and pepper on it. Mmm, salt and pepper, you do salt and pepper so well. That's good. Yeah? Yeah. You like it? Mm-hmm. Uh. That's good. You put, is that barbecue sauce on top? Ketchup. That's straight up ketchup? Yeah. What? Yo, that's it. I mean, barbecue sauce and ketchup are pretty similar, but that, yo, this is really good though. Thanks. So, since he likes it, I'm going to put the ingredients down below. I like it too. You still taste the Beyond Meat, but the Beyond Meat taste isn't as strong as like when you eat a Beyond Meat burger. It wouldn't fool a meat eater, but it's a really good meatloaf and that's what matters. So, yeah. meatloaf was a success. Thank you for tuning in to me making dinner. I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas so far and it's not a complete shit show. That is all I have for tonight. Like, if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I post every single day. I'll put my Instagram right there. Thank you, babe. And that's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to my bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Laura, Ellen, Michelle Johnson, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, and Emily Blaine. But don't forget, we have Juanita, Charlotte, Emily, Jenny, Marcia, Gemini, Curtis, Judith, Clarissa, and Michelle Vasquez. You guys are the best, and these videos are made possible with your support.